Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be my activewear collection. I asked my Instagram friends what they want to see that is activewear related and I gave three options and the last one which is my full activewear collection one. But then in this video, I'll be showing you guys my favorite pieces and looks. Actually, I tried wearing everything so there's a try on portion for this video um, at the end of the video i'll tell you guys where i shop my gym clothes my activewear so that you guys can get your hands on them too sit tight i love the long sleeves crop tops so the two here below are from Gymshark, obviously, and the ones here on top are from Forever 21. Okay, next we have my two vests and my two short sleeve crop tops. So this one is um, actually a slippery material, but very cute. It has a cross back. And then this one I like wearing when I'm squatting because it grips well. And then these two I usually wear underneath something. I won't be including my t-shirts anymore because we all can wear whatever shirt we want to the gym. I did say I wouldn't include my t-shirts but these are dry fit shirts so I believe these count as active wear as compared to like regular t-shirts. I only have three long ones. I really like cropped stuff. And then these are my, not my only two tank tops, but I have muscle tees that I wouldn't include because the material is more of, you know, cotton. These are all my sports bras. Yup, few long because I don't really wear my sports bras as a top. I'm missing one white sports bra though. Uh, it got lost somewhere in the wash. Mostly my sports bras are neutral since I don't wear them as a top but I'm hoping that one day I'll be that type of girl who wears just um, a sports bra and a bottom to the gym. Okay so these are my old shorts. The two shorts on top I had those since I was in college and those were my only two pairs of workout shorts that time. And then I got these four on sale during my first year working. So these are my favorite shorts that I always wear during leg day. I like wearing the super short shorts more often because that's when I feel I can move the most and then this one in the middle is my only bicycle shorts these are my under armor leggings that i bought with the shorts on sale so these were actually my very first legit workout leggings okay for those who don't know me i'm obsessed i was <laughs> obsessed with gymshark and uh, my first pair is actually the second leggings here i got it for 3000 because I, I bought it from a reseller here in the Philippines. And I learned to wait for Black Friday because I got the other four leggings for 50% off. This is my current favorite collection of leggings because of the quality. I mean, it's seamless and real soft. And I get a lot of questions where I get these. Stick around, I'll tell you guys how you can get a pair of these at the end of my video okay so i brought my favorite pieces some of them are in the wash so i'll start with the top my favorite tank top the gym shark see and this is my favorite detail and then for the sports bras, I can't decide. I have two. I like these two because they match so many things surprisingly. So yeah, you'll see it on the try on later. And then for crop tops, I also have two favorites. For short sleeve crop top, it's just a plain white tee from Forever 21 with a cute cross, crisscross at the back. And then the second one is in the wash and it's just a loose plain white tee. So that's what I wear when I'm bloating. And then for the, oh my gosh, where's the long sleeves? Oh, right. My favorite long sleeves 
that are also cropped are also in the wash. It's the pink one from Forever 21 and the white one from Forever 21. I'll try to put um, videos so that you can see how it looks like. I love them as you already know they're in the wash so I use them a lot. If you've noticed I like the white ones the most because it matches everything and it doesn't show your sweat. And then for the leggings my favorite seamless pair. It's this one. It's blue-ish purple. May parang pagka purple na shade. I don't know. Oh my god, I'm colorblind so forgive me. And then this one from Gymshark. It's cropped above the ankle and it contours your booty. And then the other, my other favorite leggings, they're from Under Armour and they're also in the wash so I'll just show a clip. And then lastly for shorts, these two are my favorites. I'm wearing the other one now, it's in pink. And then same as the leggings, it's this shade. Okay, for the shorts, I've also placed some shorts that you wouldn't see in my like stories or any videos because I don't wear them anymore. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys what I mean through the clips. Um, these are my loose Under Armour shorts. And I wear them at home na lang. Yeah. developed over time. Back in college, didn't really go to the gym that time. I was more active in sports. But 2017, uh, that's when I started going to the gym frequently and that's when I started investing in good quality gym wear. So my collection, my activewear collection was actually built over time. And for me right now, it's quite a lot. I'm okay, I'm good, I don't need to buy more. So anyways, I'm here to tell you guys where I buy my gym clothes. I started buying my gym clothes, like legit gym clothes, in an Under Armour sale during Christmas of 2017. There were deals that were like buy one take one, 50% off, that's why I started hoarding. That's my uh, four leggings, four pairs of shorts, sports bras, uh, top, and if I remember correctly, I got all of them for 9k, 8 to 9k. I am not too sure, but that's pretty cheap for Under Armour, good quality activewear. So that was a steal for me. But before then, before investing in um, good quality activewear, I used to just buy from bazaars. Those really um, thin fabrics. The I'll show you guys what I mean. It's the thin cycling shorts that you can just buy from like Green Hills. Ato, it's still with me. High school pato. Ah. Like this thin, no? Yeah. Um, it's hard to wear this, especially if you don't have good underwear so yeah i don't wear this anymore and i never wore it to the gym so anyways um after under armor i stumbled into gymshark and that's when i started having a lot of fitness idols from gymshark 
so that's why <laughs> I spent money on like leggings and stuff because I see my idols wear them so uh, right now they're still my idols but I'm not as obsessed <laughs> with Gymshark as before. And a lot of people don't know this, but you can shop directly from Gymshark.com. Just press uh, rest of the world and then the prices are adjusted because shipping to the Philippines is more expensive compared to the US, to um, Europe, and whatever. The other place that I buy my activewear is forever 21 but this is a hit or miss because sometimes or most of the time i don't really find like nice or good quality activewear from forever 21. oh it's so hard like you really have to dig in to find good pieces and from my experience my favorite pieces i didn't even find them here in the philippines i found them in other countries so my long sleeves crop top. I've never seen any any item like that in Forever 21 Philippines, but I got it from Forever 21 Japan. I don't know if it's just my eyes or it's a different collection for each country, but the point is you just have to really search. And then the last one, I haven't been saying the brand of the if you remember the buttery smooth leggings and the shorts and some of the sports bras because my friend and I are planning to consolidate orders. We'll be collecting pre-orders and then we'd be offering these activewear for a very reasonable and affordable price. So we're thinking of an 800 to 1200 price range but it can change. Uh, more or less. So if you're interested in that, uh, I'll be adding the link to the Instagram shop. Send us a DM, pre-order, and then let's see how it will go. I hope we get enough orders to drive the cost down. Talaga. Yeah. Okay, that's the end of my video. Thank you guys for um, tuning in and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye! Bye.